this one on the transparency. So this will be the last example before we start working on the assignment. I'm going to help you through some, a couple problems on the assignment after this, and then whatever time's left, you can work. Um, all right, so they give you a function, g of x. Again, this is the back of the worksheet that's to be done before lesson 2.4. g of x equals 1 over 3 minus x. And you're supposed to find the slope at the point 2, 1. So you want the slope of this curve at the point 2, 1. And the slope equation that's given on the worksheet here is take the limit as h approaches 0. And then they, instead of f of x plus h, they're calling it g of x plus h. They're just using a different letter instead of f there. It's the same formula. Minus g of x over h. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to show all our work. It will be graded on your work a lot on the test. So make sure you try to keep things neat. So g of x plus h, how do I do that? Where do I plug the x plus h in at? Right there, right? So up here I'm going to have 1 over 3 minus, instead of an x, change it to x plus h. So that's the first part. Minus, now let's do g of x. Oh, hold on a second here. I could make this easier. Let me back up a second. But I, I think we can make this easier because we know what x equals, don't we? Mm -hmm. 2. I think it would be easier to go ahead and change that x value to 2 first. You could do it all with x's and h's and then plug a 2 in at the end. But I think, I bet it would be easier if instead we put 2 in for x. So g of 2 plus h minus g of 2. I think this is going to be a quicker, simpler way. All right, so now we plug 2 plus h in place of x. So this is what you're going to have, 1 over 3 minus, and then in parentheses, 2 plus h. g of 2. What would you get if you plug 2 in here for x? 1, yep. Notice that's the same thing as I have up here on the point. That's just my y-coordinate of 1. All divided by h. And h is approaching 0. All right, how to simplify something like this? That's probably where people get stuck the most. Well, first of all, let's go and let's change. On the bottom here, let's distribute this negative so you have plus, negative, negative. I'm going to go to the right on this so I don't run out of room on my transparency. So I'm going to go limit. As h approaches 0, what would this fraction right here be? 1 over what? You do 3 plus negative 2 plus negative h. 1 over 1 minus h. Yep. Then minus 1 out to the side here, all over h. Any questions so far? OK. Next step is where I think people get off sometimes. To, to simplify this, take every piece of this fraction times 1 minus h. So I'm going to take the numerator here times 1 minus h. I'm going to take this 1 times 1 minus h. I'm going to take this denominator times 1 minus h. What will that allow me to do with these 1 minus h's right here? Cancel. Yeah, those can cancel. So that brings me down here. Still doing the limit as h is approaching 0 of 1 minus, okay, if I multiply a minus 1 through there, what would I get over here? Negative 1 plus h. That minus and that minus will make that come up to negative, minus 1 plus h. Over h times 1 minus h. What happens to um, 1 minus 1? Cancels out, yeah. There, cancels out. So now I just have h over h times 1 minus h. Cancel the h's, yep. Now if I, if I have nothing left on the top, and I have a 1 minus h on the bottom, what should I put up top? Yeah. Remember this h is the same as 1h, so there could still be a 1 here. 
Now, if we're letting h approach 0, let's just plug in 0 so you get 1 over 1 minus 0, which is 1. All that work, and we get an answer of 1. <laughs> All right, what is, what is that? What is 1? What's it tell us about this graph? It's a slope. Remember, that's what this whole thing is. It's a slope. So the next question, write an equation for the tangent line. So this is step B on your worksheet on the back. This was 2A. This is 2B. Here's your formula you should use for tangent lines. Y minus Y sub 1 equals M times X minus X sub 1. It's called point-slope form of a linear equation. So that one that I just got goes in for M. That's my slope. My X1 is my X coordinate that was given up here. It was 2. X coordinate that was given is 2. So this is X minus 2. My Y coordinate is this 1 that was given up top. So this is my X and my Y up here. So Y minus 1. Then multiply it through. So add 1 to both sides. You're going to come out with y equal 1x minus 1. Any questions about that? Last thing. We need what's called a normal line. The one I just showed you is called a tangent line. The word normalis um, in another language, I think it's, I can't remember which language it is, but it means perpendicular. Okay? So the normal line is going to be perpendicular to the tangent line. So that means the slopes are going to be different. So I'm still going to have y minus 1, and I'm still going to have x minus 2, because it's still going to go through that same point that's given up at the top. But now, it's going to have, to be, it's going to have a different slope and be perpendicular. So perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals. So you flip the fraction over, and then you change the sign. So if you flip 1 over, you still have 1. And then you change the sign, you have negative 1. So that's going to give me y minus 1 equals negative 1x plus 2. Add 1 to both sides, I get y equals negative 1x plus 3. That's the equation of the normal line. The other thing they're going to ask you to do on the assignment now is to graph, graph it all in a, in a square viewing window. So let's show you what you're supposed to do. Grab your calculators. Go to y equals. Type in the equation. 1 divided by parentheses 3 minus x. Um, let's just hit zoom 6, see what it looks like. So it's a hyperbola. The part we're really interested in is the point 2, 1, though. So let's change our window a little bit here. Let's, since we're looking at the point where x is 2, let's set our x min at 0, x max at like maybe 5. Then let's hit zoom 0. Okay, that's, that's kind of the part of the graph. If you hit trace, 2, enter. So there's the point that I'm interested in right there, really. Okay. Um, we may even want to do a, a zoom box around that. Let's do that. Zoom, enter. I'm going to do a zoom box around that point. So I'm going a little left, a little up, push enter. i got to make sure I get that point 2, 1 in the graph. Enter. Let me hit trace, 2, enter. Now let's graph the tangent line. So go to y equals, and go down to y2, type in your tangent line, which was x minus 1, hit graph. It's hard to see, but it's, it's a tangent line that comes along and just barely touches that line. You can see it's a straight line. It almost, almost matches up with that equation, but if I hit trace, 2 enter, it's coming by just grazing the curve, OK? The normal line should be perpendicular to that. So I go to y equals, go down to y sub 3, negative x plus 3 was my negative x plus 3 graph. Oh, that doesn't look perpendicular, does it? 
How come it doesn't look perpendicular? They are screen, my, my X and Y increments are not the same. So what you can try is hitting zoom five. Zoom five is zoom square. That gives you a lot better graph. Now you can really see that the tangent line comes by and just touches the curve at 2, 1. The normal line comes by and it goes through that same point and it's perpendicular. And you can see that there's a 90 degree angle between the tangent line and the normal line right there. That's what you should sketch on your paper on the, on the assignment. Okay. You really wouldn't have to sketch this part down here. I would just sketch the part that we're really concerned about. Any questions on that?